Uh, hi, I'm Risham, and I'm a first-year master's student at the University of Toronto, and I want to talk a little bit about my thesis project proposal right here. Uh, I, I don't think I'll uh, bore you with my, my introduction, because I think the last couple of days we've really heard a lot about the, the harms and benefits of cannabis and its derivative and its effect on the endocannabinoid system, so I'll jump right into my rationale. Um, and basically, there's very little that's known about how exogenous cannabinoids affect the endocannabinoid system, and in particularly, very few studies have looked at how what exogenous cannabinoids affect FOS, fatty acid endomide hydrolase, which is the key enzyme that's responsible for degrading anandamide. Um, and so, for that reason, uh, we're really interested in providing more evidence. For that. Um, a few years ago, our lab had conducted a study looking at the levels of thought in the brain of individuals with cannabis use disorder. And the results of that study can be seen right here in figure two in these PET images. The results of that study showed that there was a significant decrease in the amount of thought of individuals with cannabis use disorder in comparison to healthy controls. And so that led us to question well, is this? a result of cannabis use disorder over time, or is that decrease in thought a risk factor to developing cannabis use disorder? That's what kind of led us to this project right here. The primary objective of what I think is in this proposal is to test whether or not fall levels will decrease after subclonic exposure to a THC analog, and particularly NABLA. Our secondary exploratory objective is to investigate whether, if there are these decreases, are they associated with clinical response to NAB alone, and particularly changes in new. So our goal is over the next three years to recruit 30 healthy participants, and uh, we basically have two main imaging sessions, which will have one pet session uh, before individuals are administered NAB alone, so we can get a baseline level of brain fall. And then we're going to have a one week titrated dose of two milligrams nabalone at seven days. And then after that, we're going to have our second pet imaging visit to see if there are any sort of changes. To do the analysis, we're going to be using an in house pet imaging uh, molecular software called Romy. Um, and yeah, that's how our data analysis will be conducted. Uh, so, why is this study important? Well, it will be the first study to directly investigate the effects of navalone, uh, or any CHC analog for that matter, uh, on the endocannabinoid system metabolism in humans. And of course, we hope that this will help guide the therapeutic use of cannabis and its derivatives, uh, and aid in the development of evidence-based medicine that targets this system. However, the limitation of the study is that navalone is not cannabis. Uh, cannabis presents with other phytocannabinoids such as CBD, and that can also affect thought in the brain. So we propose that future investigations take place where essentially replicate this study, but then use different agents.